Let's go! Hi everybody, I'm here with my Allure Thrills Beauty Box. I had to look at the box to figure out what it was. It's the Allure Beauty Thrills Box and it is an absolutely massive box that comes out three times a year. I don't exactly know when it comes out, but I happened to catch it on Nouveau Cheap and I'd seen it before and I'd wanted to buy it once when I saw the Biore charcoal scrub in it. But it's basically a box with a ton of products. This is my first time partaking in it. I think it's been around for a couple of years now. I always see Nouveau Cheap post about it on her blog, but usually by the time I go to the website it's been completely sold out. This particular one retailed for $44.95 and they claim to have I think 200 something dollars worth of product in it and then we had to pay $10 shipping. Usually I hate paying shipping but because of the number of products that come in the box I was like let me just give it a go and it's crazy because I had just come home from the hospital with Ariel and I saw that it was going on and I quickly jumped on my computer. This was like a couple days later. I quickly jumped on my computer, purchased it and then it arrived couple of weeks later I want to say. Actually my whole timeline is a complete blur from that time because I wasn't getting much sleep and it was sort of like Groundhog's Day waking up every day doing the exact same over in two hour increments like feed Ariel, pump my breast milk, burp her, repeat, repeat, repeat. So this is what the box looks like. It just says Allure Beauty Thrills on the side. I'm not going to keep the box. I'm probably going to just throw it in the recycling. I haven't opened the box yet I just cut it open there's a booklet on top it gives you the product information of everything it's a mix of high-end and mostly drugstore products but it's not just makeup it has hair care oral hygiene all kinds of things and I've only taken a peek at the top layer so it comes with this pretty pink tissue paper on top and then some more paper padding for protection probably and this is what the top layer looks like and then the next layer looks like this and then I think there is even a third layer uh, a third layer so uh, definitely a great deal oh and there's Ralph too by the way this super cutie pie who's sleepy right now so the first thing that I'm grabbing out is this yes to cucumbers facial towelettes, travel size, so I will stick this in my travel area of items. Pureology Serious Color Care Color Fanatics Instant Deep Conditioning Masks. So Pureology is a salon brand, I believe, so that's a great deal. Yeah. Supposedly, you're getting hundreds of dollars worth of product in here. I forgot what, exactly what it says on the Allure Beauty website. I will link it down below in case you ever want to partake in it. It does sell out pretty quickly. Then here's a mouthwash, truly radiant whitening and strengthening fluoride rinse. The next thing is by Van, and this is cooling body cloth. So I guess you're supposed to wipe this around your body after you've been sweating. It says a convenient way to instantly feel re refreshed anytime, anywhere after exercising. Oh, so maybe I can put these in my gym bag. Um, yeah, I guess it makes sense. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to start going to the gym at like 5.30 in the morning, do the 5.30 body pump classes. Once I go back to work, I'll have to transition from the gym to work, and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to shower. I know, gross, right? Maybe I can use these wipes. You never know. And the next thing is a Sonia Kashuk nail polish. Is Sonia Kashuk sold at places other than Target? If they are, I did not know that. All the stuff that's in this package is from Revlon and it looks like it comes with one of their eyeshadows and I got it in the color Romantic. It's got pink, taupe, brown, and a turquoise in here. I'm not too crazy about Revlon's eyeshadow formula. I always find it to be a little bit dry, not very pigmented. Color Stay Over Time 16 Hour Wear Lipstick and it's in the color Keeps Pink. So there's color and then like a gloss on top. This is the Revlon Two Step Gel Envy and this is a pink, a light pink color. I am a fan of the old Revlon Color Stay top coat. So I'm kind of hoping that this diamond coat is the same as their old top coat that got discontinued because that was my absolute favorite. This is all still the top layer. There is bubble wrap of four items and the four items in here are 
Redken Pillow Proof. This is full size. And then a Dove Dry Spray Antiperspirant. Ew, I'm, I don't really use antiperspirant because my husband scared me into thinking that it's bad for you. <laughs> so I never use anything with aluminum in it. And then there is a Peloxi Texturizing Spray with a hold factor of three. So I guess that could be like hairspray. Moving on to the next layer. Here is a spinning toothbrush head and this is also Arm & Hammer Itch Defense Body Wash from Curel. This is accepted by the National Eczema Association. I didn't even know there was such a thing. And then there's a London Butter Nail Polish. I'm kind of running through these things fairly quickly. Otherwise, this video could be epically long. The next thing here is this Suave Luxe Style Infusion Lightweight Weatherproof Cream. Right now, I am really liking that L'Oreal Ultimate Straight, that four-piece kit that I showed you guys a couple of months ago. I used it today. I really like it. I feel like it tames my kind of wavy hair. It makes them straighter. I didn't even blow dry it. If I blow dry it, if I blow dried it, blue dried it. If I blow dried it, it would have looked put together, but I don't have time to do that kind of thing anymore all the time. Rest. 12 hour fragrance release. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to like this actually just because there are roses on it. And I personally am not a fan of roses. All the products here seem to be taped down, which is pretty smart, I think, just because things tend to open up in the mail. Of course, I want to smell the thing that I don't think I'm going to like, right? That's Weird. Wow, oh, it actually smells pretty decent. It doesn't smell like roses to me. It smells like a clean, clean and fresh scent, but maybe it'll release slowly within 12 hours. Like every single hour, you'll smell more and more like roses because it does say 12 hour fragrance release. I don't know. I guess that's kind of a weird theory. Clear care, wait, clear here. Clear scalp and hair shampoo and conditioner. This is intense hydration. I have not really been a super fan of the clear hair products in the past, but you never know. I mean, this could be better. Deeply nourishes scalp with cactus extract and 10 times more resilient hydrated hair. Two-piece Dove Shea butter soap thing. I might try to use this to clean my beauty, not my beauty, yeah. My beauty blender, that's what I wanted to say. Oh, I can't talk. I, know, I keep changing my mind on what I want to use to clean my makeup brushes and my beauty blender, and I don't think I've found anything that I quite like, even though I'll talk about it. Sometimes I think things smell too strong of alcohol, or they're too harsh, or they're too chemical smelling, or they just don't clean my brushes. So the next thing I feel like I'm going to try is solid bar soap. Oh, and some items, I feel like they just don't quite wash out of the brush. Like sometimes if you use olive oil, I feel like the oil is hard to wash out of the brush, even if you use soap afterwards, or sometimes soaps are too harsh and I feel like they're ruining the bristles. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent again. The next item in here is this Jergens. Look how huge this is. This Jergens Beauty Body Perfecting Skin Cream. Hydrates and smooths, brightens and illuminates in five days, even skin tones. Well, I probably could use this on my stomach right now because I still have this black line from being pregnant and giving birth. I wonder when that line down my belly is going to disappear. It's starting to lighten up just a little bit. I did not get any stretch marks. If you want to know what product products I used on my belly, leave a comment below and I will gladly share what I did, my um, daytime and nighttime routine. I actually like treated my belly skin as if it was my face and I had like a daytime regimen, a nighttime regimen, and I did not get a single stretch mark and my belly became uh, to me my belly was really big towards the end of the pregnancy and it was still pretty big up until three weeks after the pregnancy all the nurses and doctors told me that breastfeeding causes your uterus to contract I mean not to contract but to shrink back down to normal size and it really did for me within those three weeks like I feel like back to normal like everyone that sees me now is like did you even have a baby and I'm seriously not even trying to show off at all but I'm just saying that the breastfeeding thing totally worked and made my stomach go all the way back down. And then also I think my skincare routine for my stomach <laughs> helped in not getting any stretch marks. Um, again, another tangent, sorry, let me go on to the next thing. Uh, the next thing is this John Frieda Frizz Ease Frizz Immunity Primer. So I'm guessing you put this on 
<clears throat> my throat's still doing that funky thing because I had, I think I have acid reflux and it makes my throat weaker and so that's why my voice breaks every now and again when I talk. Uh, it runs in my family. Another tangent. So, um, I think maybe you're supposed to put this on before you put your other styling products into your hair. Um, sometimes I have a problem with frizz. I don't think I've had a problem with frizz lately because it's very humid. Um, I tend to have frizz in drier weather, like the winter time. And this is a Redken Frizz Dismiss Flyaway Fix. Finishing sheets for all hair types. So, I finishing sheets, huh? Almost like dryer sheets. I wonder if you rub these sheets in your hair and your hair doesn't fly away. I do not know. Directions. Gently smooth over the surface of dry hair to calm frizz, static, and flyaways. Repeat as needed. So it is like drier sheets for your hair. So mm -hmm. yeah, this would probably be good for drier weather. I mean, I guess if I ever have static, like maybe in Las Vegas, I could whip out these dryer sheets and just rub it on my head. That would look kind of strange. People would probably think I was pretty weird, but maybe next time I go to Las Vegas, I will try these out because they have dry weather. You get truly a radiant, rejuvenating, whitening with a refreshing twist. And the next product I got is from Milani, and this is one of their matte lipsticks. I haven't tried any of their matte lipsticks. I heard that these ones don't have that play doughy smell. Oh yeah, these ones have more of a MAC like the vanilla-ish type scent. It smells really good, but anyway, this is like a bold, woo, in your face red color. This would have been perfect to wear to the Taylor Swift concert. I wore Russian Red. I really love Max Russian Red lipstick because, at least for going out occasions, because it's matte and it's, it's drying, but it really sticks to your lips and doesn't really budge. And Wow, I'm really in a talking mood today, apparently. Second to last item in here is the Laneige Advanced Hydration Trial Kit. A multi-cleanser, a water sleeping mask, a water bank serum, and a water bank moisture cream. How my ear itches. And then the next, well the last item is this It Cosmetics by Jamie Kern Hello Lashes. 5-in-1 clinically proven mascara with lash ball detailer, Hydrolex technology, collagen, proteins, and jojoba. I am always a little bit weary of trying to use mascaras that are not waterproof, but I guess I'll give it a go. Ooh, it looks like a pen. This is like some heavy duty crazy package. I guess I better not open it until I start using it. I was about to open it. Usually high-end mascaras disappoint me because they don't hold my curl up. The only one that I love that is not even really a mascara is the Anastasia Lash Genius that I use as a primer. Ralph, stop it. Ralph is scratching himself. Hey, stop it, Ralph. But anyway, now I just have a huge pile of product in front of me. I think I would definitely buy the Allure Beauty Rills box again because look at how much stuff I got. I definitely, this is definitely hundreds of dollars worth of product. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and see you next time. Bye.